Hello and welcome. I need a little bit of morning, and as I said, yeah, I know each one is it's going to be a little bit less than if I'd have done it the other way. Now I've got to be honest. I tried both ways, and I was trying to go up bridge with my wheels to see if it was possible, which was the easiest way. And I've got to be honest, I think that hard way is easier, if that makes any sense. The bridge with its lip, there's not enough room there. I mean, obviously, both you sort of got to sort of scrunch against the fence, and I think a couple of times I went a little bit too far, which I apologise for. I was trying to do it the best I possibly could. But yeah, it doesn't always work out as you sort of plan, so. Yeah, so really, the mad situation, yeah. Now, obviously, you will have seen the beginning of the video. And you're going to be wondering, well, how did you escape from the clutches of the police? Well, not everything as it is as it appears to be. Now, did I say mad again? Oh, I don't know why I've got mad in my head. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where Mad's come from. I'm sure it's Mad Comics or something. I don't know where I've suddenly gone to Mad from. But yeah, Erlang, evil, basically. Why am I not in police custody right now? Well, about six months ago, I had... Um, I've already said that my friend is a lawyer over in um, America and a big company. He, now, this is where it's not so good because you scrunch the actual side of this. It's not, yeah, you need to sort of like skirt this a little until you get to about there. And then really sort of scrunch a little bit backwards and then just go wide a little. And it still scrunches a little bit. It's the wheels though which. Yeah, I don't think I can, don't think I can do any better than that. Oh, oh, that's the best I've ever done. Yeah, that is really is uh, the best. Yeah, so why am I not in police custody? Well, as I said, my friend is a lawyer, and obviously he was never happy with the uh, the stories that I've told him over the years of what evil is like. And it's not just with me. I mean, I I was a star pupil of uh, evil. I, I did them proud, but there were there's also also a lot of operatives. They will apply whatever pressure, family pressure, literally to get you to get the job done and to do it. And, and yeah, they, they literally are no holes barred with them. They really are vile. Now, I'm going to shut that now. If we're going to go the No. No, actually, yeah, I probably will go through that way one more time with the last set of bales over that end. So we really wanted to put an end to it. Well, my friend, obviously, being in America, has got um, friends and obviously often works with law enforcement officers even the FBI on occasion and lo and behold evil was mentioned not by my friend but by the FBI uh, one particularly nasty case so um, basically my friend puts one of the FBI agents in uh, touch with myself and said could we try to make a sting operation so that um, so I put some, they put some feelers out and sort of like to want a couple of the operatives of um, evil that where I was and that where I was going to go and all this type of thing and then dangled the carrot and lo and behold they actually yeah they snatched the carrot and um, obviously that's why I'm not in police custody now now obviously the rest is we've got to let things happen and also we may well still they may well still gun after me so there's quite a bit of evidence um, we have evidence of the fact that obviously I did legitimately own the farm legitimately and I had the uh, documents with the land registry they bribed somebody a lot of money and we know the type of things there is camera footage of somebody breaking in there but again you cannot put yeah we can't say oh that's definitely evil we need it's circumstantial evidence so we're building a case there's obviously other evidence um the fitting me up and oh what am i, what am I oh do you know oh okay no 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 freudian slip shall we say I, i've done it now i was going to go to my fields and for some reason i've just got into my head because i'm chatting but do you know we're gonna yeah i'm not i'm not coming all this way and then I'm not going to do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll sell it. It's not a terrible price, he says. <laughs> Long Meadow. Tall Tree, 288, is 
It's nearly 290. Ah. Am I going to... Yeah, we will. It, it's going to help us out a little bit. It really is. It, it's, yeah. Let's take the rest, though, to my our place now. That's ridiculous. Yeah, so it's now the building of evidence. But we also, we don't want them to see me, which is why I'm wearing clothes. Uh, obviously, I have got to stay in Britain. And obviously, <laughs> in real life, you'd probably move outside the area. But then the, we would, there would be no Let's Play. <laughs> so... We're trying to stay low profile, truthfully, and stay out of the way, which is why I've tried to, yeah, like, uh, do the farming over here whilst my friend and the FBI gather enough evidence for us. And there may well be, uh, we might need to draw uh, Kara um, in a little bit to try to get Ian uh, involved as well, Emperor Ian, so that we can. Uh, almost get some proper evidence of them sort of bragging about what's happened but we've got to yeah the, the conversation has got to be got I'm not an expert at these things so I'm relying on my friends uh, and the FBI to actually sort of provide me with what I should be saying and when I should be saying it but yeah that is why I am not in prison right now so obviously they, the British um, police are in on it in so much as obviously they do work very closely with the FBI. So they were in, in, in on it when I got to the police station and obviously all the rest of it, then obviously I was let go. But again, really on the hush-hush, it wasn't done sort of straightforward. It, it was more about me escaping through the back door, if you know what I mean. Not like openly, it's, it's to all intents and purposes, I am still in police custody and all the rest of it, which is why I am in incommunicado and also in a bit of a disguise bit right now. Please remember, we are not selling any more bales. Yes, so then. Yeah, I was seeing. I've never managed to do it this way, though, no matter what I've done. Never managed to not... You've got to be careful. I don't want to fall over, either. Yes, this is the bit where it scrunches the wheels of the RQ sound. And again, it's going to do it again. It is. That's the best I seem to be able to manage it that way. I mean, it's not scraping the metal or anything, so it's, it's like, not awful, but it isn't good, really. But I can't say it's... You can sort of do it, sort of. <laughs> but not really terribly, wonderfully. Yeah, I yeah, I think there's still probably about a full load. And then we'll literally let this lot go. And then I think... I'll call it the end of the session. Or I might well record. I'd like to get us through a little bit. So I might start another, re another session straight after this. Because I am a little bit rusting just to get us through yeah because there's there's no real work to do I, I don't uh i'm gonna see how things go i was also racking my brain for what do i do do i follow my normal pattern or do we i was talking about this uh, last last session about why i don't sell herbicide and i thought well do do we sort of break the norm to make a bit of money and i thought but isn't that isn't that crossing a line that you don't want to cross you know, we can all cross lines when we get a little bit desperate, and then really, uh, we're no different to anybody else. If you've got, if you've got ideas that you don't want to cross that type of line because you believe it's stronger, then you've got to hold firm to what you believe is true. So I thought, mm, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Really, I do. As desperate as we sort of are in a way, in another way, it's sort of like, well, yeah. Th does that give you the justification for crossing the line that you've? said a long time ago you didn't want to do and I thought not really no if I believe that it's it's by our efforts like we've legitimately done a contract we're legitimately going to get paid and that's all good and proper it is there are there are nefarious ways of, of doing contracts and selling and then uh, you could sort of make the contract go bad do your bales and sell a whole lot uh, and then I, I, I don't get me wrong. I know there's, but then what I'm trying to say is, you could also, you could sell all the bales. Uh, you, well, no, I'll, I'll tell you what, what you could do. You could go to the multi fruit buying station, buy loose silage and stick it, it straight in, and you could fulfil the contract and then keep all the bales. 
and that that is obviously worth an awful lot of money but yeah there's there's ways nefarious ways that you can always do things you can also do legitimate things where you buy uh, Mr. CLP used to do it on a couple of uh, alien gyms where you could buy uh, well you, you could get water for free and then you could sell water at another place for it would, didn't earn a fortune but yeah you could sell the water and make a bit of money you could oh no I don't believe you're going to get any more on that actually you've done better than you thought there's actually three more left so then our place is well, I can see it from here I can is there a is there a sneaky way for us to get there? It is true. We are going to sell the rest, I think, at a good price. So is there a sneaky way? I know there's a gate straight in front of us. I think there is. Let's have a look. But there is also water all around. So, But then again, this is our neck of the woods now. Yeah, we're trying to stay clear of the well over there where the windmill is well over there. I mean, that is a, it is a long way away, really. It might look like it's just... Well, actually, the far, our old farm is well over the other side of that anyway. So even that's not... Yeah, but we are... Is that, that's us in the distance, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure. Now, there is a way down here, because obviously we came here for the contracts that we did. Yeah, there is a way. Let's just shut the gates after us, because we, we neither know if we are coming back or if we aren't coming back. So let's let's have a look. Is there a bit of a sneaky way down here, or is it a bit of a dead end? I mean, I know the water's in between. We know that because we've just been that way. But I suppose, yeah, a little bit of discovery anyway doesn't really hurt to see if there is or there isn't a way for us to get to our field, or whether there's another bridge, or because this is really our neck of the woods. Yeah, I was examining the field. Um, I was interested in that. Oh, is that? It is a way. Ah, oh, you see. Aha. Uh -huh. See, that, that's not bad at all. It's a bit of a nasty way for us to get into ours, but then we can go forwards and then reverse. It's a nice, nice entrance. Yeah, this is entrance number one. And for, for what we're trying to do now is actually the best way for us to come in. And there's a good angle of approach. Oh, that's the silo I was telling you with that I've fallen in love with. We could easily stick these just there. And yes, I do know I missed one grass bale. I did. Um, and, and it is ours and it will stay there. And if we ever need it, we can grab it once we have got something like a front loader or whatever. I do love the, the RQ Sam for the fact that it can do this. I do absolutely love that. The fact that you can literally stack. Oh, my bad. Yeah cracked into the tree yes let me just let me go and take you up and see the bill because it's still sort of sneaking around i really stuck it in the corner well out of the way i might need a bit of like leveling to do on this as well it's not perfect but it's not yeah this here is a little bit of a glamping um yeah it is now does it open i bet it does <laughs> it's a little bit rough and ready of course we do put nice things in there when people are actually coming to stay yeah, it's not quite like, you know, earth growing through the floor and all that. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be, if I'm honest. That's probably because today I think I used V mode because I was a little bit too close to the edge. So, yeah, now this is what the building that I've fallen in love with. I really do love this. It's amazing. So it's got this big shed. Out. Yeah, there's a bit of bleed through on the floor. There's certain plants on the map that uh, I get. No, I didn't use V mode. Or you wouldn't have the um, this skirt. It doesn't do the skirt if you do V mode. Yeah, so there's this little bit of a shed, which you could get a small tractor in. This is the actual silo, 2 million litre, and it is multi-fruit. And then you've got this also behind the silos that is storage. And then there's this where there's nothing at all. I mean, yeah, literally. So it is, I, I really do think it's a fantastic building. And do sort of like two big sheds, then there's the silo. If you didn't use it as a silo, you could still use this as a shed and shut the back door. So yeah, I just think it's for eleven thousand. It's absolutely amazing, and it looks beautiful. It, I, I personally think so, anyway. Yes, but yeah, that's just just a little old me. But, yeah, I really must admit it really is fantastic. Yeah, so we are we're we're lying low and literally. Um, 
yeah I've got diff different clothes or not that that would in itself but yeah I mean obviously they they believe that I'm in oh no you've just gone that sneaky good way and now you you're going back the other way I do like that now that we know that's here that is fantastic oh it is actually I, I'm really quite impressed we won't need to struggle we'll uh We'll give the farmer a ring as well. We're not going to like take this lot back to the far, the um, the shop. We have done that with everything else, but uh, can you get the oh the wind? Beautiful. Now there is one bit um, that really did amaze me, and that is at the pub when I literally found those two um, collectibles. The sounds at the pub, it's fantastic. There's literally, you can hear people chattering and all the rest of it. And obviously, you'll not hear that because I always mute the soundtrack and just put the soundtrack. Well, I, I've got to do that, but just in another episode, we are definitely going to uh, have a look at that because it is amazing. It really is. I'd really love to show you that. Or, or <laughs> It's weird that, isn't it, when you, you, you say show when you're talking about hear. But yeah, you know what I mean. I will show you and then you can hear, <laughs> basically. So that is 17 bales. That is brilliant. Amazing. Plus the contract itself and also the, uh, well, quite a lot we earned because obviously we took that other load as well. So yeah, I mean, it was really 14, 28, 29, 30, 31 bales. Oh no, no, and the others that earned is 9,000. So quite a lot of bales. I'm well impressed with that. Let's run this back and we do want that one. We need to shut that gate the other side next time we're passing. Luckily there's no livestock or anything. Is that good enough? Not really. No, it's not. It isn't actually. No, this is true. We're going to have to... We will take the uh, thing back because I did say I was going to go back that way once or so. Remember the... Um, I was going to say the highway code then. <laughs> the country code as, as it was called when I was a kid. I don't know if that's still a thing now. The country code. But it, it really is. It, or it really should be. I, well, I mean, it's still, yeah, good people who know about these type of things do try their best to uh, to look after the country and to, to shut gates and all those things that I was taught as a kid, uh, especially coming from the Peak District as well. That, that was almost uh, ingrained into you to shut gates and that type of stuff and not to litter. Yeah, really. I mean, nowadays, a lot of people... And yes, I am leaving my gate open. I'm, I'm quite... Oh, and I am also catching that gate. <laughs> Do you know, sometimes. Oh, that was a, still a bit of a squawk. Yes, yeah, quite a nice feel, but as I said, this is... Oh! Well, I thought I'd actually caught something then. It was just the animation of those doing what they do. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, so we'll take this back to the shop, and we will definitely... Uh, shut that gate, and we'll then take the contract on camera. So I'm really pleased with that. So, yeah, hopefully... I suppose the other thing is obviously you do need a little bit of money to actually now we've got to be careful because this has got to do its closing bit before we get out the gate. Now now we want to go this away because we want to shut the uh I do think the detail on the map is absolutely amazing. I really do. Yeah. It's stupendous. So utterly realistic. The water, the waterways. It is so, yeah, I've got, I've got to, you know, I know it's windy. Well, I, no, I was trying to be balanced. I was, truthfully, about the the farm and all the rest of it. But Oxygen David has got it pretty much right. And as I said, it is true. He probably, he may or may not, it, it will be his choice. I mean, there are certain things I don't take back. I, I don't about moving fences and stuff like that and chopping trees down. I, I do... But it, it's a mixed camp amongst map makers. There are some map makers who obviously it annoys them, so they themselves, they've obviously played the game and they don't want you to have to uh, not. Um, yeah, they want you to have a choice. They want you to be able to, I mean, the, you know, sell fences and, and cut trees down because they want you to make the map. And then there are other map makers who are saying, look, this is my map and I make the rules and. You'll play it or don't bother coming on. And, and and then there are lots of map makers somewhere in the middle. 
so yeah I don't really apologize it's yeah Rastaman um, yeah Cavalier Roy is one map maker I, I love his style I so said there's only one thing as I said I think I think he altered the um, the animal side of things on his map a little because I was earning a little bit too much money and I know that might sound like a weird thing to whinge about but if you've been on lots of maps you know it just doesn't seem right right now we can actually yeah we can legitimately and we can switch the lights off and now we can yeah so the, this here is ours I'm quite pleased with that yeah because normally obviously this is the standard one that you can buy I know it's a lorry bag but we can obviously uh, well, well we can't really even drag it out at the minute but yeah so then we need to release the contract 29 grand fantastic so, oh wow no, that that is a better place than I actually thought I was gonna be you know we will check this sales I, I am tempted with the uh, Eon but we could do what we did really with our own there are some really reasonable um, things out there at the minute but uh, do I no I think actually this is where I'm gonna leave things I'm literally gonna say yeah the storyline isn't over obviously although we are now sort of like we are I, I saw this was this was a lot obviously also gives me an opportunity to almost to start from scratch on the map as well so it's win-win from my perspective because yeah we were really soaring high and I literally I pulled no punches off that I am going to do everything in my power to make this successful quicker than I normally would now we had a bit of a slow first year and then obviously this year was just like we literally sort of soared and then obviously like Icarus went a little bit too close to the sun and got our wings but also it appears but yeah obviously from all intents and purposes I mean when you consider the fields that we would got I mean it was a million in cash we would got on that farm but also I would imagine there's well over a million in fields a lot of those fields were almost 200 grand a pop so we had quite a few of those and then there's the actual the farm that we were very kindly given by Oxygen David which was also about 300 grand not to mention all of the equipment that we'd accrued as well so yeah we had done very well for as little time as we were done on this but now obviously we're right back to square one although that's not a bad amount and we've also got those bales that will sell for quite a bit whether we went whether we could I mean actually yeah, thinking about it we could buy ourselves a BGA and that's legitimate I never thought of that actually I did earlier I was thinking about that but I never thought we'd ever reach that kind of amount from that it is true we could do that Ooh, that is a, yeah that is definitely true obviously the one thing I am going to say no it's 55,000 so we'd have 40 odd grand we could lease a tractor we could lease a telehandler if nothing came up but with that ability over the months and we could just do energy straight away it's true I mean we've got also have I was thinking about this earlier as well let me just pop over to our field yeah um, I think we can visit that can't we no we can't we can visit that place though because I did that a few times when I was literally yeah this is a bit yeah right okay we need to jump the hedge a little we're almost yeah just opposite I think we have do we have to jump the water as well I think we do oh yeah <laughs> or we just go for a swim like that but that will do the, <laughs> do the same thing as well yeah th this field can be uh, can it be cut is it proper grass it is it is proper grass it's got the green color it's not yeah it really is proper proper grass so yes we could uh, yeah I, mean, I know that's in the middle but really I mean if we're manually cutting we could do that also we could probably put the BGA in that area there and then we just cut all the way around all the way up the top and we could keep feeding that so let's have a quick look because that's intrigued me. I wasn't thinking of that earlier, but it could actually. This is quite a biggish field. I mean, <laughs> it's a little field, really. But it's a big little field. Yeah, and there's the other entrance, which I, I did tell you about. But yeah, and you can see it now. It's up there. I think this gate's bigger. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know, actually. I have no idea if it's bigger or not. We could put that down there. But again, I'm not going to do. not going to build Rome in a day. I'll literally... But I do think now, thinking about this, this really is not a bad idea. It really is a fantastic business. It also gives us digest states, which we could easily do exactly what we were doing before. 
and hopefully yeah I mean with that we've we've got our yeah and I'm almost wishing now that I hadn't have stuck those others in for the money but then you've also got to ask yourself the question if I had done that would have had the money for the BGA so yeah it's, it's like everything it's not always cut and dry the way that you should do something but yeah we could it is true we could definitely do let's see how flat this is oh I don't want to block the could also that is true yeah but don't very often do that but here would suit that really it's very flat truthfully let's try and get the best possible contour where you you let I don't want to block the path either trying to observe the angle of the path but also yeah that's not bad yeah it's, it is from what I do wish you could snap it and then keep it there whilst you wandered around it so that it didn't wander as you did it doesn't doesn't move an awful lot but it moves enough that uh, it, is this, no, I need to go back a little just so as I can see that do we do it do we do it now the one thing I'm going to say the the it is going to put the grey stuff on the road and also it's going to partially cover that but that doesn't alter the fact that it's not covering the road and it also gives us more than enough room to get in and out of our thing and we're going to do it yeah I said I know that all oh, my life it did do something weird to the oh I'm, I do apologise Oxygen and David really for now that I did not expect wow I've never known does he always go that far back it must do. What? What? That's done somewhat weird though, because we all know that was that said like it's not ruining the road though. That's the one good thing. I do apologise for that, but yeah, it's done now. And I'd, of course, being silly old me, I didn't even didn't even save it. Now I knew it'd do this. I did know. Luckily, it's not done anything totally horrible. So right, brilliant. Well, there you go. We've we've committed now. We really have. So now, <laughs> now we need to get those there here <laughs> if only we did no we didn't have enough money no it would be sort of we've had to do it in a bit of a funny way so we the the scene is set for our business we've got some silage to stick in there next session we're going to be some way shifting those in here we've also got this grass to court so we need to be buying either leasing or buying uh do we go for a clamp because can we really afford a baler that is the question yeah well time will say anyway yeah I've, I've bent your ears for long enough this is going to be a monster session i'm going to say thank you very much for watching truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this exciting twisty turny storyline yeah it is I've, I've quite enjoyed this one actually if i might i've gone to depths do a part that also obviously some of it requires imagination there's a bit where obviously the policeman as you would have seen, he's talking to no one, but obviously I'm supposed to be in the room. I do think I probably could have done that where I went from scene to scene where I was in there and I interposed the policeman talking to me with me in the background. I think I can do it. It's the same as you can interpose audio. You can do two video tracks. I don't know how tidy it would be, but I might do a little bit of experimentation because uh, it would make things better where if I was talking to... Ian or Kari, you don't have to go from scene to scene. You could stick them on the same scene, but I need to play around with it. I truly do. But anyway, yeah, just just a bit of an explanation because obviously I know some of it requires a bit of imagination. The voices, I, I was I played with those for quite a bit. So this, it takes quite a long time to get them. The voice software is a little bit icky. So the the voice I was sounded didn't sound like my voice, whereas my daughter heard me earlier. And she says, it just still sounds like your voice, Dad. Just looks scrawked a bit. So, yeah, so we, we've done that. And obviously the voice software is, it was about as good as I could get it. Like a really deep voice for the policeman instead of me. So, yeah, it's good fun. I've had a lot of fun with it. But it does take quite a long time to faff around. It's surprising. I think it was four minutes was all but obviously you've got to you've got to do the story that the the police had to research what the police say uh, that when they're doing the um reading you uh, giving you a caution all that type of stuff so all that kind of research does take time and it's amazing how four minutes takes 
an hour to literally do again it's because it's my first time I probably would be able to fine-tune it a little bit as you go along because you learn tricks and skills and all the rest of it but yeah, I've enjoyed doing it yeah anyway yes I'm gonna say goodbye for now <laughs>